<laughs> hey y'all, come look at this. There it is, the sound of defeat. All those flights on Ryanair, whispering sweet lies, the carpet burns that followed, and a mouthful of regulators' DNA, and little Jimmy still couldn't stop the inevitable. <laughs> So, after the FTC lost in court, they wasted more US taxpayer money lodging a failed appeal. Sony is forced to come out of hiding behind regulators. The deal now only covers Call of Duty for the next 10 years. All that noise just for Call of Duty. And for the next 10 years, Sony will be Microsoft's bitch with a lotion in its hands. Maybe those knee pads won't go to waste after all, Jimmy. What's interesting is that this deal with Sony gets announced on a Sunday of all days. It's a bit weird to announce it on a Sunday, no? We're not complaining though, because Sunday is the Iron Lord's day. <laughs> <laughs> in the club dancing, just looking at them with the drink in their hand like, <laughs> yo! I I Why has Sony changed tact? It looks like the CMA itself was clearly not enough for PlayStation to hide behind anymore. And there may be an indication that significant progress has been made in negotiations between Microsoft and the CMA, some of which may have been disclosed to Sony prior to the contracts being signed. Some disclosure may have been necessary, perhaps. Hmm, I'm not sure, but it's funny how Jim Ryan's tactics have failed. Remember how he previously said Sony would hope that the regulators would do their job and just block the deal? How's that working out for you, Jimmy? Now, can you imagine the awkward phone call that must have taken place between Jimmy and Spencer? Well, luckily, thanks to the good works of my dear friend, upstanding citizen, and all-round humanitarian J-Rock, we need not imagine forever. don't understand why are you doing this bro i haven't did shit all day bro and you play you no matter what bro i don't <laughs> bro please bro why are you doing this bro the other interesting point is that the contract only stipulates that sony gets call of duty for 10 years it's only what sony clearly cares about didn't even try to make much noise about the rest of the Activision Blizzard King suite. This is a gigantic win for Xbox, no? Sony is so far focused on that first person shooter, ironic, that it's completely neglected the potential of titles like Warcraft, Starcraft. Imagine if World of Warcraft actually made its way to consoles, but was an Xbox console exclusive. Wow, on consoles would be a very big deal. Sony doesn't give a shit about Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. If only Jimmy get as much as all the ponies out there who were absolutely triggered by Aaron Greenberg doing this with his profile picture with Crash next to him. Hey ponies, your own leader is spitting in the face of PlayStation's legacy, chasing a what? Predominantly multiplayer first person shooter game. <laughs> yeah. Heck, even a revival of classic series like Tony Hawk's Prototype and more. There are so many IPs with potential that Xbox can explore. Now, it remains to be seen if Xbox will actually deliver, but I'm not going to let up asking Xbox to make sure we get those and more from ABK. But for the ponies, this surely is a big L, right? Right? Well, not according to habitual bleach drinking and failed YouTuber Red Dragon, who now spends most of his time on Twitter posting tweets that make Alex Jones look like Mahatma Gandhi. He says Sony has signed a much better deal than Phil Spencer originally wanted. He's saying three years turned into ten years. But 
the next sentence literally contradicts what he just typed because he says Xbox knew they could never recoup the costs if they depended on Xbox fans alone buying games. What the actual f If they knew they couldn't recoup the costs if they depended on Xbox fans alone, then why on earth would they originally only want a three-year three -year deal in the first place, you this coping mechanism is hardly surprising. Heck, it was even expected despite all the fake tears about it killing the industry at all. Check out Pony Elite, who says, Gaz is mad that the Xbox depends on PlayStation for their success. Ah, uh, okay. Nothing has changed. Xbox is still in last place. PlayStation is and always will be the king. Xbox needs PlayStation source and always will whatever helps you sleep at night my child sony prophet says uh, by the way have you noticing a trend with these amazing names <laughs> 18 billion spent changes nothing for xbox basically a third party publisher for call of duty cod will now be built around game pass and die a slow death PlayStation loses nothing. They will gain multiple exclusives. Slash studios they've acquired during the 18 months. Got it? Forced laughing emojis. Hashtag PS5. Hashtag PlayStation 5. Ah, Andres Guterres, the man who can't count past the number three. He says PlayStation will keep eating the fruit. It just happens that Microsoft will now own the tree. Microsoft is the one that holds the responsibility of watering the plant and paying the gardener to maintain the tree in tip top shape. PlayStation just eats. Yeah, yes, Andre. Microsoft gets all the responsibility and the money that you will be gladly parting away with, right? Yeah. This Nick chap has his hands held against his head in a pose that fools you into thinking he may be devising an intelligent thought. Don't be fooled. Those fingers would have been better reserved stuck up his own ass considering all the shit he types. So nothing changes. Yeah, your desperate PlayStation insecurity remains the same. But you know what? At least one pony is being honest about his feelings. And he always is. Irrespective of whoever he's talking to, be they male or female, irrespective of age. JTech TV! He says, I will not be giving my money to Xbox through PlayStation. Wow, this man has some pretty weird principles. Don't support PlayStation, they are evil and they suck. By the way, here's a dick pic. Well, people. Pony insecurity is at record levels, and I'm just going to filter out all their salty tears so that we can turn it into sweet septic sauce. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this little bit of sauce, and... Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.